the hood and it's prepped to be flipped over. Now this is probably overkill but I worked on this hood too darn hard for me to have any overspray on it. Um, I did a lot of sanding on this hood and I just don't want any overspray on it uh, to make my life a little more difficult when I go to wet sand the whole car. So I masked it off. Only took a few minutes so wasn't too much of a waste of time. So it's all masked off and I'm gonna flip it over and get to work on the bottom. Well I got the hood flipped and we get a look at all the overspray that happened when I was doing the top half. And now you know why I covered up the bottom uh why I covered up the top half because I now see that the bottom half has a lot of overspray and I didn't want that to happen to the top. So I'm going to scuff this down with 320, get it pre prepared for paint. I'm not going to put any high build on it because obviously I'm not going to do any work to the bottom half. The first thing I'm going to paint is this area here and of course this with the satin black. And I made a Home Depot run, got a couple stuff that will help me. I bought a paintbrush, a cheap paintbrush and two trays with two rollers. Now this one I don't think I'm going to be using. It was only two dollars so didn't waste so much and I could always use it for something else. This one I felt was much better. So I got a tray and I got the roller. It's a foam roller. And the plan is I want to get inside. And this roller is going to be good for me to get all the way inside. Just to make sure I have paint down in there so that's gonna work out great so I'm gonna scuff this down get it ready and then I have to mask the hood um, and just leave that part exposed for the satin black okay got my 320 scuff and it's looking really nice smooth out as best as I could in there I didn't want to go too much because it's not going to be seen but I made it smooth there was some imperfections from when I was maneuvering the gun I hit the the gun cup there so I blocked that out and you can see the spot welds and this here if you recall there was a slight dent well since I had overspray of the primer I decided to do a little blocking and it came out pretty good you see it came out really really nice so I used the overspray to my advantage there so now that is nice and straight you can see that nice and straight so I'm happy that came out good other than that I did my blocking, I did my uh, scuffing, so it's all ready to be masked and prepped so that I can paint the cowl area for the air filter. Alright, we don't need no overspray ruining my day, so I masked off. The panel nice and complete so I got my circle cut out and ready for the black that's going to be sprayed which is why all of this is masked because I don't want any overspray and then anything that goes inside there all in there that's going to be done by the brush and then whatever First, I'm going to do the brush. Whatever um, overspray that goes in there, which I will attempt to get overspray in there, um, that'll even it out, make it look nice. And you see the masking. And what I did was I masked 
the pinch welds. That's going to be my hard line, the pinch welds. That way I don't have to blend. And there's that line I was stating that I was going to mask. So when I paint the red, I won't have any hard lines. It's going to look good. All I would have to do is tape within the pinch welds and then I can paint my red. So that's the detail work I did so that I can get that part looking like it's um it's like a, a black piece added in there so okay I did my first coat and I didn't use the gun I actually used my paintbrush and my roller and I have to say this roller is awesome I really like it I mean I just did this is my first coat and it came out pretty smooth obviously I'm going to spray it in the end but um, it doesn't even look like it needs any spraying bear in mind this is this is the bottom of the hood and it just looks great I mean it has that slight orange peel just like if I was to spray it if I was to you know if, if I were spraying it and in here I was able to get into the tight spots with the brush get it all nicely coated and on the inside um, so it worked out great so I'm gonna let it flash give it another coat and then I'll probably hit it with the gun just to to get a nice wet coat on air to even it out well here it is and then I applied three coats of the satin black so it looks shiny now but um, when it dries it will be um, satin it loses shine so came out came out sweet and I also um, went ahead and decided that I wanted to paint the, the other half of the latch the hood latch the male end black I wanted it set in black so it'll give it some some accent um, it'll match with the springs so I don't know I'll see how it looks. I can always change it to red if I don't like it. But um decided to go with black just to see what what happens. And I did uh two coats on that. So here it is. Nice and shiny. And I'll get a shot of it after it's all dry. So that part is done. After that is dry, I'll I'll have to mask all of that so that I can paint the red for the rest of the hood. <laughs> 